Hello everyone, good morning. Um, it's half past five. Um, today I'm specifically um, doing my largest ever journey I have so far made in MD's journey using connected buses. So I'm going to Scotland today and that will take me six buses, probably five and a half hours to go on that place. Let's go and see what that place is. It's a very special place uh, and I was been there in 2013, long time ago, with my friend Simon Cronin. So I'm just going there today for a very specific and special reason. Let's go and explore with them this journey. So we took the bus to Carline in the early morning and this is a bus to Carline which is from Newcastle to Carline. This is River Tyne and it's on the Coal Bridge. The sun is just peeping from the sky. It's very early in the morning. Lovely day. I arrived in Carlisle and just took a bus to Annan. Just going to Gretna, Gretna Green, the border of England and Scotland. Welcome to Scotland. We just came to Gretna. We are passing Gretna now. Scotland, it is still mandatory to wear face mask in public transport, and I always do wear face mask in public transport. So we'll be getting off in Annan, take another bus to Dumfries. So we are in Annan now, so we have to come and stand in the stands too for half an hour to get a bus to Dumfries. Um, so we'll be taking the bus pretty soon. Is a lovely little town, and as you can see, this is River Annan. Very nice. I have arrived in Dumfries, uh, which is a very nice place to be. But I'm just waiting for my connected bus, and we'll take the bus to Castle Douglas, and then I'll take another connected bus to that little town where I'm going. This is lovely Castle Douglas. We arrived here and then took another bus to my final destination from Castle Douglas. Well, I was in the bus and see a lot of ships that has been on the road. And this is River D. So, we have just arrived in Kakubre. This is the village I was talking about and this is the information center here. Um, I've got a map so what I'll do I'll upload you. And this is where was my special place to be. So come here when I was around eight years ago I would say in 2013. I came here, one of my friends, friends has a, a hotel here. He's from Worcestershire and then I had a special scallops, king scallops in here which is the best in the country and the best fish and chips you can have in here which is called the polar pies. 
fish and chips. So the reason I came actually all the way using those buses is because of this fish and chips and I want to come back here at least once in my lifetime. Um, this is very unfortunate uh, why I came all the way to have fish and chips here. The reason is You may have seen that where I came here. This special fish and chips shop, after years and years of services, they are going to be closing and selling their business, So, which is very unfortunate. So the place where we are going now is that very old broken castle. Is, uh, they are refurbishing it, but I'll try to get you some information about it. When I came last time it was nearly broken. Look someone is on the hmm. so this is the hotel where I used to stay around seven years or eight years back when I came here. Uh, but it's quite unfortunate again that this hotel is closed and there's no more it's no more running probably for a year or so. Um, so again, uh, it's very sad to see that it's gone. It's a nice little town. You got lots of things here: cookery schools, some fashion designing outlets. Not like the uh, high street one. It's just a, a individual fashion designing outlets. Lots of. Uh, shops to buy uh, uh, some cultural stuff. This is the bridge actually, if you want to visit. I brought some souvenirs from the charity shop. Uh, this is a lovely piece of art which is made in Scotland in 1995. This art gallery here, so you can explore there for free. It's old to go there, it's three stories only. Very nice, you'll love it. Town and the parish in Royal Borough in 1455 in Kakudrashire, and which was traditionally a county town in Dumfries and Galway. You can see the arts and cultures are there still very rich. You can explore this little city and uh, you will find a lot of place to go. You will love the place, I, I can assure you. Or if you want to have your holiday here, there is bungalows here to rent, and it's just four miles away from the Irish Sea. So it's a lovely place to be here when you have your holidays are coming up. And there is a nice fishing ships always here, fresh foods, people are very nice. And River D is marvelous. There's a little fishing port here. You can you will be able to see a lot of fishing boats and ships are here. Specifically they do harvest the scallops here which is really really popular all over the country. This town has a population of nearly 3,500 people and it's 84 miles away from Edinburgh and 282 miles away from London and it is very really famous for the artistic view and the countryside relaxing view for people for their holidays.
So yeah, I have just ordered my Queen's uh, Palace with some chips and uh, and well, so as you can see, I'm gonna give them a thank you card for serving all the way around. Uh, let's wait for the food. I cannot really wait for the food. I'll show you guys how it is. It's pretty nice, actually, guys. Um, I just love it. Look at the scallop size. How big it is. Right, I've got my queen scallops. Let's see. Wow. Look at this. Pretty nice actually guys, um, I just love it. Look at the scallop size, how big it is. And yes, I met with the chef of the polar bars. He came to see me and met with me and had a nice chat. What a lovely person he is. Just this ship has just came over, as you can see. Um, they had a lot of fish I guess. You'll see how they put all the fish over here. I only got two hours to spend in Kikabre, but. I will be missing Kekar a lot. This is the place I really like to be. So, hopefully, you all have enjoyed this little journey I had. Um, please be with MD's journey and thank you so much for everything. Feeling a bit nostalgic to leave this place again. I never thought I would be able to come here using local bus because I don't have a car but I made it, I really made it very cheap as well. I'll put the descriptions how you can come here and visit here and all the, it's a nice lovely little town, you can stay here and natural scenery of the Irish Sea, you can see when fishing boat is coming. So I managed to buy some queen scallops from polar bars and a monkfish and a local keeper as well and which I cooked later on at my home as you can see but it was really fresh and really really nice. Thank you polar bites. Collected some souvenirs from there as well. Scottish money is a bit different than the English money, right? And this is the biggest thing I've got from Polar Bites. Thank you for the recognition, Polar Bites. Thank you so much. <laughs>